Here's your weekend headlines as we highlight some changes that will be taking place. We're going to go over those very closely here. Saturday, very nice and for most of us quiet weather. By Saturday night, though, a cold front moves through and it brings a lot of change. All of us will get very gusty winds over 40 miles per hour in many locations and there'll be a chance for some of us to get a few flakes of snow. There's also, the fact that we will all have colder temperatures diving in. Let's take a look at the week ahead, though. First and foremost, as we go toward the holiday, we'll also point out the fact that here's that Sunday shot. The cold front working its way through with a dash of snow, gusty north winds, and some of the coldest temperatures that we've seen all season. Some of us dipping down into the single digits. Now, as we go through the work week, things quiet down substantially. In fact, we get mighty warm as well. Then on Wednesday, as everyone gets ready to travel over the hills and through the woods, a chance of some snowflakes, mainly in our northern counties, as you see here. And it doesn't look too substantial at this time, but it could come with some wind as we go from Wednesday night into your Thanksgiving day. And that'll be the challenge that we have. And no bullseyes and no major systems heading into the post weekend uh, after Thanksgiving. It does look like we'll see a few flakes as well. Right now it's quiet. 27 degrees as Hector cools off quickly. It's 32 at Moorheads Airport. Wind from the south southwest under 10 miles per hour. We have a lot of mid 20s in the northern valley uh, to near 30 degrees and that's pretty much the uniform temperature field we have across the area. Rain warm enough for rain in central South Dakota near Pier. We have some snowflakes showing up in the oil patch. Well, we do have some changes to talk about, but tonight overnight will be quiet. We could have some patchy fog drifting across northern Minnesota in the wee hours of the morning. Then as temperatures warm up, the fog evaporates. We start out in the 20s to near 30 down south, and it looks like a wonderful afternoon. Plentiful sunshine, light wind, but it's from the northwest, and that Canadian flow will keep temperatures just a couple of degrees cooler over what we saw today. So you can expect what you saw today, minus about anywhere from two to five degrees. Then late, the cold front starts approaching and some nighttime snow and wind is on its way. More on that in just one moment, but your temperatures in Fargo, we start out in the mid 20s, ramp it up and spend most of the afternoon in the mid to briefly upper 30s under very sunny skies. And again, that wind more northwesterly tomorrow afternoon. Nothing too strong, 5 to 15. Your snapshot of your hometown temperatures in the 30s for almost all of us as we go through the 4 o'clock hour. There'll be a shot at some 40 degree readings in southeast North Dakota once again. Here's that overnight snow shot. It happens at about 3 to 4 in the morning, working its way mainly through northwest Minnesota. Then periods of light snow showers. Temperatures will fall from the mid 20s and upper 20s into the teens to around 25 degrees. With gusty wind, that puts wind chills at or below zero in the Devil's Lake Basin. Rick Craig, what a talented shot this is. Absolutely stunning. Thank you for sharing. Your Saturday looks good. Sunday, falling temperatures. Wind that'll slap you in the face. Temperatures that'll crack your teeth. Then after that, we warm things up just a little bit. bit. 33 Monday, 44 Tuesday, and then there's that little weather maker coming through Wednesday into your Thanksgiving day. All in all, not too bad. Sounds pleasant. We're all going to go into Thanksgiving dinner with cracked teeth and red faces. Yeah, just, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, just what popped into my mind. All right, thanks. Yeah.